In this video, I'm going to show you how to get creative with your composition to dramatically improve your scenic shots. Working on your framing and viewpoint is the quickest and easiest way to capture more interesting photos. Far too many beginners fall into the trap of using the central AF point to quickly compose their shots, but this results in boring and similar shots with the main subject bang in the middle of the frame. You have other AF points on your Canon DSLR, so use them. They're the easiest way to get creative with composition. The way they're set up enables you to use them to simply apply the rule of thirds and place your subjects off center for a more dramatic composition. Using a tripod is a good way to work on your composition too, as it enables you to fine tune your framing. Sometimes you only need to tweak your camera so you cut out or include certain elements on the edges of your frame to make the shot work. You can also use your Canon camera's live view mode to be more accurate with your compositions. This again is easier to do when using your tripod. Use the live view grid display, then place your subject on the intersecting lines for a more balanced photo. The live view grid is also great for helping you position the horizon. Don't always place the horizon across the middle of your shot. Think about framing your shots so the horizon is on the top line and the sky fills the top third of your frame or use the bottom line so the sky fills the top two thirds if you want it to dominate the shot. You also don't always need to shoot landscapes in a landscape format. Try vertical compositions too. Now let's experiment with the composition by changing your position and using different lenses. This is a simple route to getting better shots when shooting a static scene with a clear focal point, like the castle here. First take a shot using a wide angle lens. We're using a 16 to 35 mil on a full frame 5D Mark III, or use your kit lens at the wide 18 mil end. Shoot from far away so you don't need to tilt the camera to fit the scene in your frame. It's a classic composition, but can be a bit dull. Next, take a shot with the same wide angle lens, but this time from up closer. You'll need to tilt the lens up to fit in the building. This captures a more extreme angle as a wide angle focal length makes the castle lean over but it results in a much more dynamic image. Now go further back and use a telephoto zoom lens to capture a different shot. We're using the long end of a 24 to 105 mil lens. A telephoto focal length compresses the perspective, pulling the elements in your frame together and can make your subject appear closer to its surroundings for a unique shot. And for our final shot, we took advantage of our telephoto lens by shooting f4 to capture shallow depth of field. This means foreground elements are blurred to draw the eye to the castle. So here are the shots we got today. And as you can see, working on your composition is a great way to make the most of a location and improve your photography at the same time. We had a great day here at Blaze Castle. So the next time you get the chance, experiment with the composition in your photographs.